Hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Annabelle and I'm so excited to bring you along on today's video. It's actually going to be a vlog, my first ever vlog. I've never vlogged before and it's actually going to be a week vlog. I've got something so exciting happening today. I'm finally, after over a year of not seeing my family, travelling back down south to London to go and stay with them for a week. So I thought, finally, I picked the camera back up again after the last time being Christmas Day and literally not touching it since. I thought, right, now is the time to pick it up and hopefully there'll be more to come. I literally need to leave the house in five minutes and need to get an Uber down to the station. I have done my natural flow test and show you this. Uh, so obviously I've waited the half an hour, which you have to wait, and yep, it has come back negative. That's great and Oh, this was out of focus there. I guess I will just catch you when I get to the station. Oh, actually, I mean, like, that might be a bit too confident whether I'm actually going to get the camera out in public. I've also got a ridiculous amount of luggage. I think any girl can relate to it. Oh, literally, I was saying I had to go. That was the shortest five minutes ever. Um, yeah, I've somehow accumulated, I can't say, gathered two suitcases worth of belongings to take with me for a week. Good luck to me, and I will catch you at some point on the journey, I'm sure. All right, bye. <laughs> I made it home. I'm not gonna lie, it is the day after. I'm officially the worst vlogger ever. The travel home, to be honest with you, I just got a little bit nervous picking up the camera. It was probably busier than I expected. It was essentially just people sat on alternate seats and obviously we have to wear our face masks when traveling and I just got too scared to pick up my camera and I also thought, like, are people gonna think I'm filming them? So anyway, the journey was absolutely fine, and then when I got, actually got home, I just really wanted to be present and in the moment. I haven't seen my family in so, so long. It's just really nice just to, like, say hello, finally, in person, and just spend some quality time together. And we had a really nice home-cooked dinner, football was on, England won, and then we watched a film. I then had had an early night, to be honest. Like, travelling always knackers me out. It doesn't matter how far or how short I go. I always just get so tired. And then I've actually been working today. I am working midweek whilst I'm back, so work today, and then I'm just actually chilling out in the garden at the moment because it's such a lovely evening. Um, I'll just show you my setup. Enjoying a Koppenberg, and then with this absolutely beautiful view, my dad takes such good care of the garden. They are actually both just at the gym at the moment, so they won't be long till they're home, and then we'll chill together in the evening. And then for the rest of the week, we have lots of exciting things exciting things planned. On Friday I've actually planned a surprise for my mum and dad. They have no idea what's happening, I've just told them what time they need to be ready for. you along for that and then on Saturday we're going to be heading into Central where we'll meet up with my brother and sister who live there. I'm just gonna have like a really like wholesome family day out. I'm so so excited and then in the evening I'm meant to be going out in London as well. Again I'll bring you along for that too. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to chill out and relax and then who knows next time I decide to pick up the camera. <laughs>
Hello, it's now Friday and I'm not sure if I mentioned before but basically I wanted to surprise my parents just really as a way of saying thank you for all their support throughout the past year. We're both getting ready upstairs and then I've told them they've got to wait in the conservatory until I say they can come through. What I'm planning is just something really, really small. I've got um, beer pong. We're probably not going to play beer pong in the traditional sense of downing drinks, etc. Uh, but it's just like a little bit of a fun game. I've got some balloons and some nibbles. We're going to have a couple of drinks. And then I've written them a card and in there, I'm just tell them, telling them that I'm taking them out for a nice meal this evening to one of the lo a local restaurant, which I know that they both enjoy. Take you inside now. Oh. That chain is literally the most annoying thing ever. But it stops flies getting in, so actually, okay, the lighting in here is not ideal. But, oh, maybe if I come down here. Got beer pong. Um, this has been to many of parties, so there's no way we're drinking out of these. Oh, I'm not, I'm not focusing. Um, yes, there's absolutely no way any of us are drinking. But, I'm gonna set this up. So that's this. This is your card when you find out what's happening. The camera's on, by the way, so if you want to come stand over here, see you. <laughs> Surprise me, Cynthia. <laughs> You're going to get into it. <laughs> you know, this is going on the internet. <laughs> so, did you enjoy your surprise? Yes, it was wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> anything to say? <laughs> we weren't impressed with the dessert menu, so we are just off to Marks and Spencer's to see. If not, we do have lots of puddings at home, so I guess we'll just catch you at home. I'm just going on a little evening stroll and I just thought I'd pick up the camera just because the views here is so peaceful and it's something I really take for granted because where I live um, back up north it's it's basically the city, it's hustle and bustle and I'm really sorry if this is really annoying because like, I'm walking and talking but literally it's insane. I just wanted to say, oh, I'm going to get dark. It's going to go dark as I'm walking through this. Hopefully there's no bugs. Yeah, just how much I'm really, really enjoying being home. It, I just felt like I really needed this. Um, to see my parents, home-cooked food, even though I cook my own food. It's just, it always tastes different when your parents cook it. So I don't know whether anyone else feels the same. And... Yeah, I, I don't know, it's just, I don't even know what I came on here to actually say, but 
yeah, I just came on to say I'm having the best time ever. And I don't even want to go home. But yeah, I'll definitely be coming back down again at some point soon, or they'll come up and visit me. But we've got lots more things which are very exciting plans. So um, yeah, obviously on Saturday we're going up to London to see my brother and sister. We have planned a champagne breakfast. Oh wow, like my arm. I've only been holding the camera up for like a minute and literally my arm is aching. This is like a little mini workout. Yeah, no, so we're going out to London. I don't actually know what we're doing. My dad and brother have sort of planned out the day. A bit of sightseeing, I'll take you along on whatever we end up doing, seeing. Really praying that the weather forecast doesn't change because at the moment it is actually meant to be quite nice. But if you live in the UK, you know that could literally change. Let's go. It's 12 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> so hello everyone to the vlog. <laughs> so we're all here together finally after over a year. And so, cheers. cheers. I got all this amazing food which my sister put out. We've already started our meeting a pan of chocolate. Not that you can see the chocolate. And then so this is my brother and sister's apartment. And look at the view. Concentration there, the master at work. We're just on a walk <laughs> down by the docks. Where are we going? What are we doing? Steve Hill. Russia Dock. <laughs> is, that, is that even a real thing? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it is. Okay, so we're going up there. We're going for walks. We just had our champagne brunch. And then, yeah, it's a pleasant day. You can't see my brother in it because he's so tall, <laughs> so my eye line doesn't get him in. Um, so yeah, so this is the view. And the local gym. Oh yeah, that's a gym over there. Imagine the views for that. So yeah, that's basically what we're up to. So we'll catch you in a bit. Oh wait, so it's actually just... It's a woodland. It's a filled-in dock. It's a filled-in dock, a woodland. It's woodland. Will I match my green outfit? Blending. Just blending. Oh, Camouflage. We'll lose her. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the champagne's gone straight to their heads, so not usually this funny. <laughs> so, it just hasn't been around us for a while, that's why you forget. Oh yeah, forget. So this is obviously where I get my my banter from. <laughs> That's being cut out. Oh, Some strange looking seats. Should we sit on them? See what they feel like. They're dirty. No. Yeah, don't get these in the house. Not very comfy. No, exactly. They're <laughs> dotted all around the park, so you'll see. Is this part of the whole dock yeah. experience? Yes, it is. Well, you learn something new every day. It's not sarcasm. It's not sarcasm. I did. I just learned that. That's something new. What? There's odd seats in the dock. Yeah, but there's something to do with the water or something. <laughs> I <laughs> think you might be pulling your leg a bit. <laughs> this, is an ed this has turned into an educational vlog. So you come here for your fun facts. Go up there. Going up this way. <laughs>
So we've got coleslaw, salad, avocado, leaves, crisps, dips, olives, sourdough, tuna, this which I've never seen before, which is cubes of goat cheese, and brie, they flaffle, yeah. and then chicken, and then we tried to move that because that doesn't look very aesthetically pleasing, so, but yeah. So lunch is served, and yes, I am still drinking this after our walk. Borough Market, and we came across. I don't know if you can see this ship, like a boat, which is just like stationary. I actually stayed on this boat um, as a kid, as part of a school trip. Um, let me just show you. I mean, I feel like that was the worst video ever. It's literally just scaffolding. Um, but as far as school trips go, I feel like that was quite a good one. I'm sure that like, we had to eat like rations or something, which probably isn't legal. <laughs> but um, yeah, so just walking along here, just taking it. It's basically being an absolute tourist today. I mean, I'm not even sure what that is what I just showed you, but oh, it's a palace. Dad knows. So it's very busy. Bow Market was nice. Like, had an overpowering smell of cheese, so there were just like cheese stalls everywhere. Um, so, yeah, oh wait, Dad's in the background. <laughs> Very, very bedraggled. My feet are killing. We have just made it um, to uh, Chelsea because it's where we have food reservations. And it's five o'clock, so what do you call that? It's definitely not lunch and it's too early really for, for dinner, tea, whatever you call it. But anyway, that is where we are heading now. It's a restaurant called Vardo which I've never been to before, but my brother and sister, oh my goodness, I can't literally just move how I've been to, and they recommended it. So, yeah, so we're a little bit early, so we're just literally going to be walking, we're just walking, oh! <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. Hi. hi. <laughs> so, yeah, so I guess I'll just catch you when we get to the restaurant, and I'll show you what we're eating. Spicy sausage pizza with um, garlic and greens. And then we got this, uh, my brother and dad are going to be sharing, which is a ribeye. And then some halloumi, chips, more halloumi, more halloumi and sweet potatoes, and cheers. Take a nice 
picture there. <laughs> What you call a party house. Thank you, Chef. Spilling it everywhere. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do the honours. Charles. Charles. <laughs> that can't be nice. You put literally half a bottle in that. <laughs> probably like within like the last half an hour of the match so um hopefully get enough time to whisk to the pub um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and um yeah if you can like subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one bye